Title, They're After Me. Unarmed to Dudes 911 shout out before a police dog showdown. TL, DR, an unarmed black man calls 911 with their trying to kill me remarks. What went down? A police canine encounter like no other. Why was he so scared? Dive in, and let's find out. In what seems like an episode straight out of your favorite crime drama, an unarmed black man dials 911, his voice thick with fear, they're trying to kill me. Sounds like a script, right? But nope, it's real life, folks. We all know how essential a 911 call can be, right? You dial when you're in danger or see something suspicious. But what happens when the tables turn, and you're not sure if those who should help might harm? This unnamed man felt this exact tension. He called the service desperately hoping for protection, but what he got was an encounter with a police canine. But wait, why call 911 and then fear the very help you summoned? The actual events remain a bit hazy, like the smog from your cousin's barbecue last summer. We're not quite sure of all the details, but this incident raises essential questions. How do we ensure trust in our emergency services? How do incidents like this shape public perception? On a seemingly unrelated note but worth mentioning, if you're living in Columbia, Dane, Dodge, Fond du Lac, and a bunch of other counties in Wisconsin, you might want to take a deep breath. Or actually, don't. There's an air quality advisory issued, especially for sensitive groups. Seems like the smoke from the Canadian wildfires has decided to cross borders without a visa. Young uns, older folks, and those with some heart or lung conditions might want to chill indoors. Is the air mimicking our burning questions on the incident? Just maybe. Let's circle back to our main dude and his chilling 911 call. Events like this aren't just isolated blips on the radar. They are part of larger conversations about trust, race, and policing. We have to wonder how many similar stories go untold. And hey, here's a little brain teaser for you all. How can society work towards mending the relationship between its citizens and those sworn to protect them? Because let's face it, who wants to fear the very people meant to have your back? Disclaimer, this report doesn't offer any recommendations or advice on investments, health, or any other potential legal issue. Always get professional advice for personal matters. So, turned up news fam, what's the tea? Do we think this is a one-off event, or is it revealing a broader pattern? And here's the zinger, what would you do if you felt the need to call 911? On 911?